time. I hope I just give maybe an extra minute. Uh, I came from the Cuesta. I'm Newton Cook. I'm Executive Director of the United Water Fellows of Florida. But that's not the important thing. I'm also the Chairman of the Recreation Workshop for the South Florida Water Management District. We don't have these problems. We have quarterly meetings. We don't have these problems. Our hunters, our horseback riders, our bikers, our hikers, our bird watchers work together. And when there's a conflict, we sit down and solve it. In South Florida Water Management District, in St. John's Water Management District, and North West Florida Water Management District have hundreds of thousands of acres of land open for concurrent recreation, including hunting. There's absolutely no need to separate hunters from horseback riders, hikers and bikers. Because there is no danger. There is no danger. Now you won't believe that they hear, but I want you to know something. If you go to the National Safety Council and check your figures, you will see that hunting is probably the most safe of all those recreations I just listed. The numbers are there. Horseback riders seem to be a predominant problem in this particular district. We don't have that problem in South Florida. Did you know that there are over 70,000 hospital visits or deaths from horseback riding in this country every year? Do you know how many people go to a hospital from hunting accidents in this country every year? About 500. 500. Did you know that when I hand my grandson a 12 gauge loaded shotgun and take him hunting, he is 14 times safer than when a horseback grandfather puts his grandson on a horse. Last time I was here, I was called a child molester by one of the wackos who come. Who's got up here and the lady says, hunters are three times more apt to be child molesters. What if I told you and I went out and said, grandfather putting a child up on that horse, you're a child in danger. You're endangering your child. Now, uh, that's a fact. Check it. It's a fact. And yet we hear these irrational fears of people who are scared that arrows are going to fly and the bullets are going to fly and shoot them in their backyards and shoot them off their horses and not a single incident in Florida has been recorded where a legal hunter on public property has shot a horseback rider or a hiker or a biker or a Jason Handel. Over all the years, and the hundreds of thousands of acres of concurrent use. Now there might be one out there or two, but they're so rare, no one's ever been able to stand up and say, I know somebody. You got so, all I, you. so all I have to say is this. These are irrational fears. I said in the tree, beautiful wildlife management area, opening day deer period. Nine shots I heard all day long. The bullets don't fly. Three deer and two hogs were shot. All the bullets are counted for. It's, and I, I can understand the fear, but it's an irrational fear. And I hope that we can move forward and bring this district up to the standards that are set by the other water districts. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm going to start my drive back home.